Welcome to the Mike Clegg Japanese YouTube channel. This channel has four segments. The first segment is always about topical football, and I will talk about the English Premier League, what's happening specifically at Manchester United, and other interesting topics what happened within the week. The second segment is my interview, and I'll be doing different podcasts, different interviews with different types of clients, and discussing their football history, or their athletic abilities, and how their careers have developed, and which people they've worked with. The third section is all about health and well-being. This is my evil sink section. And the fourth segment is called Win the Moment, where me and you and the community, the YouTube followers, can actually win either a shirt or some type of prize as time goes by. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Mike Clegg. I'm from Manchester in England, and I've had a very interesting career. I was lucky enough to get brought up in a gym, and through that sort of training process, I really learned how to look after myself. And I used to play lots of football, and luckily, at 15 years old, I got spotted by a Manchester United scout to go and have trials um, for the under 15s and under 16 team. It was an incredible opportunity. Um, I remember putting the Man United strip on and it just felt like a Superman cape. And I just played this game because I never thought it was gonna happen. And then this miracle happened where I had this opportunity. Um, I played against Blackpool. Um, I ran around, took throw-ins, took free kicks. I even scored a goal. And that wasn't bad for a lad who was playing central defender. I ended up signing a contract at Manchester United and then I was in the youth team. For two years, I worked under the guidance of Eric Harrison uh, and Pop Robson. These are two very famous youth team coaches in England, and they brought lots and lots of players through the system. The type of players are brought through are uh, the class of 92, so that's David Beckham, Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs, Nicky Butt, but also before that they brought players through as well, some incredible players and um, it was a, really the starting point of me becoming a proper professional football player. Then I graduated to the reserve team where I had great success under a manager called Jim Ryan. We won the reserve league three years on the bounce and it was an incredible journey and then I got the opportunity to play for Man United first team. I made my debut in November in 1996 against Middlesbrough. And in that team, the Middlesbrough team uh, was a very good team. They had Giannino, Ravinelli, some very good Italians and uh, Brazilian players. And it was a real good test for me. But that day was a very, very memorable day for myself. I remember traveling for the first time with the team up to the northeast of England. And um, when I walked into the changing rooms, uh, the manager, Alex Ferguson, always had the kit man to set out the kits. So you knew when you walked in what the team was. And the team back then was Smichael, and then it was me, Clegg, and then Pallister, Bruce, Cantona, um, David Beckham, Paul Scholes. And I'm like, oh my God, it was an incredible opportunity that I was going to be playing for the biggest team in the world. And as I was having this emotion, I was like so excited yet so scared, I got a hand on my shoulder. And as I turned to the side, it was Sir Bobby Charlton. And Bobby Charlton was the captain of the England team when England have only ever won the World Cup once, and that was in 1966. And he just said to me, he just, and he's a Manchester United legend, he scored the most goals for Man United up until recently, uh, when Wayne Rooney took over his record for Man United and also for England. He put his hand on my shoulder and just said, listen son, you got the opportunity to play for the biggest team in the world. More than anything else you do, make sure you enjoy that moment. And that's certainly what I did. And it was an amazing occasion. It did actually change my life. Um, so my debut was one of the, the highlights of my football career. As I moved on, I was in the first team squad for five, six, seven years. I played in the Champions League quarterfinal against Monaco, which was a massive game. The second leg at Old Trafford, um, played against the likes of David Trezeguet, played against uh, Fabian Barthez, who saved a shot I had, um, which we ultimately would have put us through to the semi-finals, but he saved it. Uh, we drew that game 1-1, uh, but it was a big challenge for me because that's when I first played against Thierry Henry, who was obviously ended up being a Premier League legend. And um, 
just great experiences. And as I developed my career, you, you, you stay at Manchester United, which you really enjoy, but ultimately your career comes to an end. And when I retired, I went back to the family business, what was working in a gym. I become qualified. I got very high levels of qualification, master's degree, doing all the courses. And then Roy Keane, the manager um, or the player from Manchester United, ended up being the manager of another, another Premier League team called Sunderland. I went there with him to Sunderland and I spent 12 years at Sunderland working under not just Roy Keane, but 10, 11 different managers. I had Roy Keane, Steve Bruce, Paolo Di Canio, the Italian, uh, Dick Advocat, a Dutch um, very famous coach in Europe. I worked under Chris Coleman, who was the manager at um, for Wales. And in and amongst uh, these, Gus Poye. And Gus Poye has been recently over in China working with a Chinese team. So, I've great, vast experience. And now, as I've left Sunderland, I'm starting my third career, which is now very interesting. I'm doing the YouTube channel, which hopefully you're going to subscribe to. And I want your comments. I want you to ask me to interview different people. I want you to speak to me about the type of things you like to listen to and how we can interact to really make this a, um, a two way conversation. Uh, and then the other thing which I'm doing regarding my, uh, my business is my company called Seed of Speed. And that is www.seedofspeed.co.uk. And that's where I offer online training and that's throughout the entire world. I have very, very many um, clients. My father, Mick Clegg, was also the strength and conditioning fitness coach for Manchester United from the year 2000 to the year 2010. He did the work with Ronaldo, he worked with Roy Keane, he worked with David Beckham, and he gets, um, he gets the credit of really helping that team um, up until winning the 2008 Champions League in Moscow um, against Chelsea. And I'll share some pictures with you, and I'll share some stories with you regarding that, my journey, my father's journey. But I want to say welcome to the channel. I wish all my Japanese followers and subscribers a great time listening to me and, and the, the clients and the people I interview. And I hope this will be a really good and um, great place to be. Thank you.